Good evening, folks. This is Rugby Mutt coming to you with another Red Spent Time story. And this one is kind of unusual. Most people don't understand that back in the Capone era and in the, back in the old days, way back in the 30s, uh, there was a lot of activity in Indiana, Cal City, Calumet City, and just over the border into Indiana. And I think that had a lot to do with crossing state lines. Uh, people couldn't, police officers couldn't cross state lines in those days. But at any rate, uh, it was a great stronghold. Uh, Cal City was like, they had open gambling parlors, they had uh, prostitution, they had everything you could possibly name. Uh, I think they're one of the first people to ever open a gay bar <laughs> in Calumet City. But everything you could name, you could have there. It was just, everything was available. And then eventually, over a course of a period of years, uh, Chicago Heights and places that were close to the Indiana state line, uh, they got their businesses going and eventually the whole crew uh, became part of Chicago Heights. Everything did. And eventually also after that, that's when the Chop, chop Shop Wars came out and uh, some guys were stronger than others. Uh, actually, Jimmy Katura, he wanted to have that territory for a period of time. Uh, there's a lot of gossip and things going around on Facebook about him being under uh, Fifi Boucheri, but he was not under him, I can tell you that much. He was uh, a very strong man, and they complained very much. I heard Joey complain about it many times, the fact that he was building an army he just kept building up soldiers after soldiers after soldiers because they wanted him to retire. But at that time, uh, Al Palato was uh, in charge of, uh, and, and when I was around, that was in the early 1970, 1972, 71, somewhere around there. Al Palato was in charge of the Chicago Heights area and surrounding areas. And uh, that's when I had slot machines out there. And, by East Chicago, Indiana. Uh, that's an interesting story. I think I told you about it already. But anyway, uh, that's really how it was. I met a gal by the name of Helen Sant. Helen Sant used to own uh, several pieces of uh, farmland, and she had actually breweries on her property. And back in the old Capone era, and you know, later after that, even when Capone was in prison, but. Uh, she had a major dislike for uh, ATF agents who raided her, uh, destroyed uh, the stills, also destroyed the granaries in which she stored the grain. She had immense farmland. She had a lot of farmland. When I met her, she was 88 years old, and that was in 1998. And when she was telling me these stories, I was so much impressed by it because I didn't want to tell her anything about my, myself in the background, or my background. But that's the story for this evening. And I can tell you this, uh, I wrote a book. You can get an autographed copy at redwemet.com. It's called Nobody Cares and What I Did About It. And you can also get it at um, Barnes & Noble. You can get it at uh, uh, Amazon, Create Space. Uh, books a million. It's everywhere now. It's all over. But you have to order it because if you don't order it, uh, they don't want to stock it on the shelves. But like I said, you can order an autograph copy from me and it's for the same price. So anyway, thank you so much. God bless you and have a great evening.